Hello, how are you? Today, I will show you a new, easier way to create animations. For Blender and for game, you have to save the animation in Sims 4 Studio. Otherwise, it won't work. First, we need to download a new rig for animations. I will leave a link in the video description. I want to emphasize that I always create poses or animations in version 2.79, which is the most comfortable version of Blender for me. First, you need to open Blender and load the new rig. Similar to other rigs, you have to click with the right mouse button to select the bones, not dots this time. You only using a control rig. Drag the bones to any position you want and then press the left mouse button to save that pose. If you press the right mouse button again, the pose will be restored and won't be saved. The great thing is that you don't need to separately move your eyes in different directions. It looks much more realistic because you move eyes together. If you want to move the head, click on the head. When you move the head, the eyes stay in the same place. So after that, you need to move the eyes too, unless you like that pose. If you want to close your Sims eyes, you have to press on the eye bone. I'll show you how. One is for the upper lid and the other is for the lower lid. The hand part is the most challenging, especially for those who have never tried this helper before. Even I'm not a professional in this. You often need to rotate your point of view to achieve the exact pose you need. Fingers can be tricky too because sometimes when you use a hand grasp, it can look weird, so I mostly press them separately. If you move the hand grasp, the thumb will look like this. I will speed up my video a bit because I've shown you the basics. Regarding saving the pose, you don't need to save the entire rig, as I remember. You only need to save the control rig. Everything else is the same as I showed in my old video. The link is above the video. Now it's time to create a simple animation. After finishing your animation, make sure that in the timeline, the animation starts from zero and ends where your pose ends. It's necessary to save the control rig at first. So press A, then I, and select L Oak Rot. Then go to the rig again and do the same. Please save the rig only and see that keyframe in the zero and in the end of your animation, because if you will save control rig, it won't work. Afterward, go to File, Save As, and name your pose. Save it. Now you're in Sims 4 Studio. Everything is done the same way as in the old video. Name your package, import your saved animation, and press Save. Move that package to Sims 4 Mods and check if it works in the game. 
For Blender users, saved animation you have to export from Sims 4 Studio. That's all. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and see you in the next video. Bye.